Greetings on the perfect mighty name of Jesus. The word for the week is mist. It's defined as a cloud of tiny water droplets. In Isaiah 44, 22, we're reminded that I have swept away your transgressions like a cloud. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. In the midst of taking my morning walk, mine's more like an afternoon walk, but I'll just use morning for the scenario. A fog and a mist instantly surrounds me. As I look to my right and left, I couldn't see anything. As I continued to move forward, my view was dim, but I remained focused on my immediate path. However, when I looked behind me, the mist had instantly covered the landscape as if no one trampled through it. As the rising sun burns off the fog, the view became clear. This scenario reminds me of how often sin creates fog in our lives, which throws us off Jesus' plan for us. It clouds our spiritual vision, dulling its clarity with a hardened spirit or the raving temptation to rationalize our actions. We need the light of Christ to burn away the lies of sin so we can stick to his path. We know we have to choose the narrow path. Amen. The world is full of options to lose sight of Christ and the enemy is working double time to cloud our view. How clear is your path on today's walk? The light of Jesus guides our path. His word is a light unto our feet. That light will burn off any mist and fogs of sin and pierce through the thickness of darkness. We are in the midst of his love. Let's go to scripture. James 4.14 Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. In Isaiah 43, 25, the Bible reminds us, I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgression for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. Now let's go on to 1 Corinthians 6, 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is God's. So we belong to God. He forgive us for our sins. He redeemeth our lives because of sin. But we have to repent, stay on his path and rely on him. And most people, they'll say, oh, I believe in God. But our only way to God is through Jesus. He's the man that... Um, He's our mediator. Amen. So let's just stay focused on our path, our path in Christ. Uh, things are about to get crazy. They already have been going crazy if you haven't noticed or not. But stay, stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. Stay in his word daily. Um, it's just a constant reminder on our time. We're like vapors. We can disappear any time now. But are you ready? Are you ready for that great disappearance? I know I am. But anyway, be encouraged daily. Talk to you soon.